I'm Tony. And I'm Jeff. We're in gaming, and that's you. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the And I'm Rob. Hello, Tony. And we are going to World Warshack, if you want to call me that. And we will be entering Arena um, in this particular episode. Uh, Rogue is where we left off, and the first cards at which we left off were these nice epics here. I believe it's the... Um, there's particular uh, in Arena your picks that are normally rares or better. I know your first pick is a rare or better, your last pick is a rare or better, and I think your 15th card is a rare or better. I'm not sure about that. Really? Yeah. Uh, but there's particular, and then the other ones have a chance to be better, yeah. um, but most of the time they're commons. So uh, we're going to go with Kodo Rider for sure. Kodo Rider's so good. Pit Snake is pretty good. Um, this guy blows. And the Black Wing Technician, I don't know if we're actually going to have any dragons, but for a three drop, I mean, the stats aren't terrible. <laughs> but <guy> Pit, Snake, <laughs> Pit Snake is pretty good. Azure Drake Fochezels. Um, oh, wow. Look at this. We have the Raider or the Regin. Uh, what the Regent Science can just put just bodies on the field. But... It is, and it can be played on three, as the other guy just dies. <laughs> Dark Iron Dwarf, for sure. Uh, Farseer is always a nice card. Ooh. Ooh. Those are all good I think this is a hard choice. These are all really good. Really? I liked the Harvest Golem. We already have one Regent, so let's split it off. We'll have two good three drops. In case you get Arena Jackson. There you go. Yeti, oh my goodness gracious. Oil, hello, how are you? I'm doing fine. <laughs> Uh, uh, Auctioneer's nice, but then again, that's so greedy though. Master's pretty nice. You know how greedy Auctioneer is to take. Yeah, uh, like we don't have six drop four four. We don't like, even have a single spell yet, except for oil. Yeah, and the fact that like its stats are bad, like imp it's so <laughs> bad. Remember that thing? Used to, that thing used to be a fucking four drop. We'll be greedy. Ooh, damn. Assassin's blade. Ass blade, foe shizzle. Badge Belcher. Badge Belcher. <laughs> uh, um, do we have any mechs? We've got one. We do have one. But NC Killbot. NC Killbot. But nine. Betrayal. This takes care of a big creature. Uh, maybe. No, it doesn't. It takes care of the creatures next to the big creature. But we don't have any field clear. Oh, uh, you're right. But we have Killbot. Have but then we don't have any mechs. Oh, this is hard. Shit. Then get off your knees. Hey, look <laughs> <laughs> no fucking, I'm bringing my chair. Okay. Uh, betrayal or anti kill bot? I like betrayal. A lot of people don't like betrayal, but I do. I, I, would say, I, mean, <laughs> I, I mean, I like it. It has the potential to kill two creatures for two mana. Yeah. Um, but we're going to go anti kill bot. Force tanks max is nice. Ship cannon doesn't do anything on stable goes okay. I think we're going to go with force tank match. Another ass blade. Tomb Pillager for show. Don't mind me, just, just. What the fuck are you doing, mate? Trying not to fucking Shadow do Step the auction here. <laughs> <laughs> draw, <laughs> draw a card, you. play it for four later. Um, Morgan Infiltrator or Mooklas. Mooklas is normally a pretty not so swell card, to be honest. Yeah, it only works if you have more than two other creatures out. Like, you yeah. have three We're going to go with Morgan. Sprint or assassinate. Wow. Damn. That's a hard pick. Dang or Spiteful it. Smith. We're playing Rogue. We've got two ass blades. Mm. Are you kidding me right now? That is pretty good. We already have a lot of five drops, though. We already have... Mm -hmm. Wow. This, this run is panning out to be pretty difficult. Like, Sprint is, of course, always going to be good. Ass assassinate's going to... We have no removal. So that's always going to be good. Um, and then Smith is actually really good because yes, we yeah. have... Assassin's I mean, not only we're already playing rogue, so it buffs the weapon. It's already a three attack weapon if this becomes damage. Passive. And then we also have assassin's blade, so it makes it a five four if this guy's out. But this is situational. We first have to have a weapon, and he first has to be damaged, and he has to live long enough. Um, so I don't think this is between spiteful, but sprint and assassinate. Um, this is going to be hard because assassinate can win a lot of games. Yeah. Um, but so can sprint because you run out of cards eventually, well, and you're see, sitting here top deck. Let's see what card draw we have. We have. We have auctioneer and Drake. I'm almost gonna go with assassinate here. We have we need we have no removal. Hey, sprint. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <All right. laughs> that worked out Ooh, well. Violet teacher. Violet teacher, but we really don't have how many yeah. spells? We have one. Agents always good. Two. Three. three. We have three spells, and but the agent, as you said, is always good. But the iron sensei could come in clutch because we do have two mechs in the deck, which yeah. is we're, uh, we're not only. I'm just kidding. It's horrible pick. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, oil. Our weapon. Oh my oh god. Oh my 
fucking good. We have no two drops, Tony. No. And we already have two Assassin's Blade. We gotta go with the ringleader. Um, Volcanic Drake is... Pre it's, it's not the best of cards that we could get, but I think it's better than the Iron Forge Rifle. I think you're right. We need some two drops. We need two drops. One of the Hunter. best two drops in the game. There we go. We need more two drops. Keep keep giving me two drops. Sap, I think, is a good Sap two drop. Um, if they play something big, another assassinate could pan out to be very nice. Uh, death definitely iron, dark iron. Um, all right, so we fill uh, blood scale raider for fucking sure. Yeah, I don't even know. Five. Yes. What is it? A five, three, or four? Dark iron stalker. Dark iron. So good Dude, this is now. this. All right. At least eight wins. At least eight wins. Bottoms up. <laughs> Definitely not Monster Energy because they won't sponsor us, but generic energy drink. It can be Monster Energy if you sponsor us, guys. You just went in there, didn't tell him what it was, <laughs> drank it, mentioned how we are not going to mention it because they were not sponsored by them, but then went ahead and said the word at which you're drinking of the drink. <laughs> we're not going to get That's you, Rob. Amazon Basics. <laughs> I thought you were going to call me basic. Yeah. Alright, so... I think 2-2s two is fine. You know, her stats are good already, and then if she gets any sort of buff, she's already above her. Faux shot? Like, she's actually a pretty So we can actually card. coin passive to play her on two, or we just coin, play her, and... Or we just don't play anything. Coin spider? But what does spider actually kill on turn two? Nothing. Just one damage. Coin passive and play her in two. Just well, it's coin two. passive, and then she's a 3-3, three, three, and can pretty much deal with any two drop he plays. But then we're stuck with spider on three, which isn't good either. Um, but if we coin this, spider can break off. He uses his passive. I think spider's fine. Okay. It's, it's, it's okay. It's not... Because she can be played any time. It'd be pretty good. Yeah. Well, and that he's going to... Assassin's Blade will make her a fucking 5-3 for 2. Exactly. The value. So we can actually use our passive here. Kill off the Panther, and um, we'll be able to play her the following turn, and we also have 2 one one. So he actually, if he uses his passive on 3 to kill a 1-1, one, one, and he floats 1 mana, that's really good for us, because it lets us develop a 3-3, three, three, and if we still have a 1-1 one, one on the board, and then from there we can just pretty much snowball into, hopefully we draw into a 2-drop, and we've got a nice 5-drop into the 6-drop. Wow, 2-5 is not something that we wanted to deal with. No, not at all. Okay. So, pretty much play her. She's a 3-3. Three, three. We swing with our 1s and we end our turn, save our weapon. Um, so next turn, we're looking really for a 4-drop or a 1-drop. Or another 2-drop, and then we just re-up the weapon. Or another coin into the Dark Iron Sulfur. <laughs> yeah, let's just draw into another coin. We actually don't have any preps. We have no preps, we have no abysses. We have fucking no abysses. We have no abysses, we have no fan of knives. We didn't even get options. We didn't even get options. Rip 3-3. Three, three. He floats two mana. This will be ideal. Float, float it, float it. We draw into a one drop. We combo. Ooh, that's pretty good. Oh, yeah, that good. So I think we can kill either way. We're killing one off. But one way we take damage and the other way we don't take damage. Probably better not to take damage. Probably better not to take damage. You're exactly right. We're going to play this for four. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> I was like, uh... We're not playing that for four. Okay. All right, so we have this card on eight. We definitely don't. Oh, wow. Do we want to leave him alive is the question. Or we could kill him. Or we can leave him alive. So we leave him We leave him alive and he plays, what does it cost? Increases the cost of your minions by three. So, um, he can play a three drop next turn. He kills off for four, four. Or... We play this, and our 4-4 four, four dies, and he plays whatever he will fucking wants anyway next turn. Anyway. So I think we has our right? We can go face. Because either way, we're losing our 4-4. Four, four. But this way, we get to deal with this next turn, and he still can't develop a big creature. So I think that's fine. Yeah, the most he can play is 3 drop right now. Yeah, the most he can't, he can't kill this off, and he's going to kill the Azur Drake here, because um, he's scared to spell power with a rogue, even though we really... Don't have, don't have have anything. anything. There's, I don't think there's a single thing in here that would benefit from spell power. Mm -mm. No direct damage at all. Good, good <clears> stuff. 
Man, the auctioneer is not going to get any value. No, no. So now it's going to have taunt, which really isn't bad because we can just assassinate it next turn. Uh, hopefully he just doesn't attack. He's definitely going to probably attack the Ezra Drake, though. So, a, uh, no, he might, if he goes face, that is so great. Holy shit, have mercy, you are fantastic right now. So we're just going to get rid of that and then swing directly for four. And that's exactly why we have Ass Blade in the deck. Or not Ass Blade, but Assassin's ass, ass, ass Knight. Wow, that greedy motherfucker. Ass a ass I night. Ass ass a <laughs> Ass ass I night. You get Big Sean on this. It literally game. has ass ass. And then I night. So it's like ass ass I like at night. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff, you hear this interpretation of the word assassinate. Ass ass I like at night. Do you like it? I like ass He's though. Just he is just completely ignoring us. Do we have boob people in the, uh, in the, never fucking mind, I have no idea what I'm saying. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> I don't know. Okay. No, we want to damage this first. And then we play the stalker. And he goes, Dude, you're going to be able to play volcanic drinks. Yes, so. I am. Damn. Oh, oh shit, I would man. Kinsami die after that too. Yeah, he just he just got a lot of value. And then if you would have played that two drop four six. Actually, I, I probably would have swung into the the uh, the other card, and that would have counted for another discount. And then maybe I could have swung with weapon, re-up a weapon, played Drake for free. That's true. You could have done that. Yeah, because he would have. He would be god. He'd be at zero drop. No, how many creatures? He had four creatures down, right? No, we killed the Crypt Spider, and then we killed three creatures, and then we killed that, so that's five, and it's a six drop. So I had one, and I only had two mana, so I couldn't have done that. Uh, you asked for it. I didn't ask for anything. You asked for it, Mercy. Yeah, you tell him. All right, we have a bunch of five drops. Let's keep them all. That sounds like a great <laughs> man. It only makes sense considering half your deck is five drops. <laughs> oh, look, the other five drops. Volcanic Drake, what are you doing? Get the fuck away from me. It's too early for you. Oh, God. Maybe you'll sacrifice all of his creatures so you can play them. During your turn. This isn't fucking a chaos deck in Yu-Gi-Oh! Where you can just <laughs> sacrifice your graveyard to summon a 3,000 attack creature that can blow up the field and discard every card in both players' hands. Deal 200 damage to each player. I mean, one particular player. It sounds like Delve in Magic, where you could, uh, all the non-color mana. Yeah, you, can just, you were telling me about yeah, that. You can just exile cards from your graveyard. Mm -hmm. So there's one card, it's an 8-drop, draw 3 cards, but it's technically only 1 blue mana. So it's 1 mana, draw 3 cards. That's pretty good. Unstable portal on turn two. Are we playing one. ranked? Hello? Three. Treasure. Are we playing ranked? Treasure Cruise is a banned card in modern. There's actually a lot of delve cards. Tony, do we heal him? I think so. Let him know we care? Yep. Thank you. Okay. There's a lot of banned cards in modern. What the fuck are you talking about? Oh, magic. 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 There's a lot of banned delve cards. I was like, uh, Tony, the new Hearthstone is actually called Standard, not Modern. <laughs> Oh my goodness gracious, look at that one drop 4-4. Four, four. The value plays. Ooh, wow, Forgotten Torch. Must have been really not that great of a torch for it to be forgotten. No. Why is it called Forgotten Torch? Why couldn't it be called, like, and then it becomes a roaring incinerate? Torch. Yeah, why, why would it be Forgotten Torch and then to Roaring Torch? Like, what is the... I guess because it's, like, the League of Explorers. You, I don't fucking know, man. One would think it'd be, like... Torch. <laughs> just torch. I'm just kidding. No, like in like incineration torch, like burning torch, like. Well, because it's forgotten. It's it, it only has a small flame, and then the power of it is its value. Shredder's so good in arena. Oh. Well, we could possibly worgen and then go face. <laughs> Oh no, that's not good. Oh. Morgan spell. Belcher is pretty powerful against Shredder, and then he's almost forced to. Uh, and then he's gonna. Okay, so if we swing this into this. Next turn, he's gonna ping this. So the best he can play is a three drop. He's swinging Shredder into that, and then actually, yeah, this is a good play. This is a good play. So he's going to ping either the uh, Yeti or the Belcher. He's gonna ping the Belcher, which makes it so he can. The most he can play is the three drop, and his turn three was the coin into the four four. Um, and then Roaring, which tells me he didn't have a 3-drop creature. He 
seems kind of he has a three drop creature now. But this is fine. This is fine. He develops a one one and he pings, and we still end up with a either a four one and a one two or a Unless three one. Something that deals one damage. <laughs> what is, is there be any three drops to deal one damage? No, just the two drops I do. Okay, so we swing into. Yeah, we swing into this. Well, that's not good. Okay, and we can actually doing any damage right now, so I guess that's okay. Turn six, we could see. Nah, I think this is fine. I doubt he has a blizzard, and if he, we're we're prepping for a flame strike next turn, so we'll play around that a little bit. Force tank max will be OP, but since he's running a mage, he can actually just ping the divine shield off, making force tank not so great. So he doesn't. A seven, seven. Yeah, and it's not so fantastic. Honestly, for a basic card or common card from Vanilla, Force Tank Max is pretty powerful. He's Did a... you just say this was from Vanilla? Are you on drugs? It is from Vanilla. This is not from Vanilla. This is from GVG. No, it's not. Hmm. I'm almost 100% positive. It's... Almost 100%? I am 100%. I'll Force put a dollar on it. Tank Max. <laughs> Force Tank Max. Hearth Pone. Only the greatest Hearthstone news. Set, Set Goblin, Goblin versus, versus Gnomes. gnomes. Right, you How many dollars do you owe me now? Hey, I'm just... Said, you know. said! Yeah, no, you don't owe me. You don't owe me anything, Tony. I'm just messing around. Okay. You don't... It's okay. All is all right. You guys heard it. That's two dollars I don't owe Robbie. All right, so... Well, this needs to die, so we can actually just Dark Iron Dwarf this, swing into this. But we really don't need to kill. Alright, we're going to make the assumption he doesn't have... Flame Strike. That would be very unfortunate right now. Yep. That would be completely... You know he's got Flame Strike, though. Completely devastating. Have mercy, don't have flame strike, don't have flame strike. Here we go. Because if he has flame Here strike, then, then he's up on I'm heart going. advantage and health advantage. Yeah. Pretty much. The good thing you have a sprint. Not we do have one sprint. Do. If he if he waits to rope if he if he ropes out the flame strike, I'm gonna he, say thank you. <laughs> and then ping up. All right, so normally some players might assassinate or assassinate um, the Belcher, but I believe the correct play is to um, summon the Force Tank. We're gonna swing into this, um, and some players will be like, what the fuck? But this actually makes it so if he pings, he's gonna wanna ping the 6-1, not the Divine Shield. So if he ends up playing a card next turn, we can make a value trade there. Hey, lights out. And because there's no point to really play around Flame Strike, we're gonna swing, of course, and deal as much damage to the base as we can. If he doesn't play a creature, then the next turn we're just gonna um, uh, heal bot, throw down the oil, or if we draw a lower drop card, we weapon up oil, and then we, uh, we, we go, we go ham on the face. <laughs> so the tiger, and he's gonna ping the 6-1. And this is bad because it's stealth, and we can't make that value trade that we had planned to. So we actually, uh, we got, we got swindled. So it's, al it's almost hard to want to play the blood scale right now prior to not being able to do this. Yeah. But can we push lethal? We have uh, approximately, uh, if we blood scale, this is six damage. Um, and then this is nine. And this is 13. And then this is 20. I think we go for it. Okay. Right? Sounds good. Okay. As long as the oil doesn't land on the card that we can't attack with. Ooh, that's a lot. That is a lot right Dude, now. Lil adds so much value in Arena. Yeah, we put him at one. Do we see a Kinsami doll on the floor? Ping yourself, bro. Ping yourself. Nah, he won't ping himself. He has too much respect for that. Can you ping yourself? Deal one damage, yep. So he could Flame Waker, Sorcerer's Apprentice Flame Waker, double Arcane Intellect, two um, Arcane Missiles. Hmm. To Frostbolt. To Frostbolt. To double Frostbolt. To win. Plus the free Archmage. No, the free Archmage that he the, somehow got. For the negative two fireballs every time he plays, he actually gains two mana. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, my fucking God. You serious right now? Holy shit. Who gets that? 
Do we still have lethal though? We do. This is 14, yeah. Even with a free 16 heal, it wasn't enough. Wow. Who gets the brawn into the heal bot though? What a combo. Constructed in arena spot. <laughs> Construction in yeah, arena. Wow, look at this quest. All right, so we're gonna actually go back and open a pack right now. We actually have enough where we can open a pack freely. That's a quest log, Rob, not a pack. Right, so we're gonna shop. A, a regular pack? Yeah, we're gonna buy a regular pack. You know what we're gonna do with this pack? You know what we're gonna do with this pack? We're not gonna, we're, no, 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 we're gonna wait. Oh, good. Oh, the tension. Please don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> that came out. I, I was actually meant to say, ooh, the tension, but for some reason my Jeff, voice. what are your comments on that situation? That was one gay voice I just used. Yes. That was like sex. He says yes. That, 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 was, that was not okay. What did I say yes to? That was not okay. What time is it? Almost 10 o'clock, Tony, which means we have to post our video today. I'm hungry, man. I'm mamas? hungry too. No, mamas. We're going to hibachi. It's hibachi Monday. Mamas? Mamas. If you guys don't know what Mama's is, it's Which a... Which you don't, because you don't live in Orlando in a shitty part of town. Uh, it is a sub shop in a really bad part of town. Um, so if you come to Orlando and you are looking for a really decent sub in a really bad neighborhood, Mama's is the place to go. This is a, yeah, no, I'm not streaming, this is a video. And you're ruining it. I'm just kidding. All right, so we have nothing to play on turn one. We have a, an acidic swamp who's on turn two, which we most of the time want to use that on like a true silver, or if he has a cog, or if he has like a muster, which he always seems to have. So this isn't necessarily a card we want right off the bat. So I actually might use our passive here because it actually can take care of the worgen, and this will just die to the worgen. What is this two two double one drops? So we're gonna weapon up here, kill off a one drop, and go from there. We have the heal on turn three, and then we don't have for a decent turn four play, but we do have a re-up weapon and an acidic swamp boost that we can play on turn four to utilize all the mana so we don't float any. Puddle Stomper, okay, that's not too crazy. He did have a pretty roaring start though. Um, pretty roaring <laughs> We're gonna heal ourselves up and end our turn here. We, we're gonna play, we didn't play the Acidic Swamp Ooze because it dies to the Worgen, as this does not die to the Worgen, but it does die to the Puddle Stomper. But we can still kill um, the Worgen with the weapon, which he's gonna hold off on the Worgen until he can make a value trade, because we don't even have Fan and to kill it. So if he's smart, he holds the Worgen the entire game until he can utilize it to the best of his ability. Uh, but who knows, maybe he wants to pump out two more damage. I'm going to assume if he does, if he goes face here, that's an Avenge. Yep. Well, we don't actually know. Yeah, true, because it's when you kill a creature, right? Yeah. So we can, we're going to swing into the 2-1. We're not going to uh, swing into the 2-1. Oh, we're going to swing into a different 2-1. Uh, if we play the Dark Iron, I think, let's give it, let's, let's, there we go. So this, actually, normally you don't want to play this, and we didn't want to just Acidic Swamp Ooze, re-up weapon, he kills the Acidic Swamp Ooze, he develops the board. So this actually competes whatever he draws unless he kills this, and if he kills this, obviously he's not developing, he's using CC, so it's fine. So we can actually develop the ass blade. Now, uh, there's no really point to develop the ass blade though. Yeah. I think Azure Drake is fine. That's a good five drop to get into. <sighs> the problem though is if developing the ass blade early allows us to continue clearing board. Uh, the Azure Drake, if like, what do we do with this four four? Like, we don't. Swing it, what, until one, one like two? we can use our passive to kill this if we had a three drop that would be the best situation right. um, or we use like there's just not do we use ass blade to hit oh. this and then this but that just doesn't seem the right play but taking off the divine shield is important yeah so we're actually we're gonna take off the divine shield this may not in fact be the right play we could have swung face for seven and made him make the trades but I don't like a card keeping divine shield to be honest like I just don't like divine shield at all like the second, Scary. yeah, Blessings of Might, it makes a value trade. If we wouldn't have killed, we, we could have killed two creatures there, but who would have known he had the Frost with Warlord or whatever the fuck this guy's called? He actually got that completely correct. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> um, uh, that's zero value. We Azure Drake to hopefully cycle into Ass Blade. Oh, Ooh, that's pretty good, but it still doesn't take care of this. No. Um, just start going go. face, to be honest. That's 15 damage with just this. Um, that is a lot of damage. Hmm. Killing one ones with an ass blade does not seem worth. No. Not the slightest. That's probably your best bet. 
I wonder. I don't know. Here we go. This feels wrong, but not killing a creature and going face feels wrong Here too. We go. Okay. I trust your judgment, considering I've never gotten more than six wins in a ring. <laughs> I mean, it's it's, well, I it's 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 an awkward situation. We don't have Assassin's Blade. We don't have a Vis. There's no really great plays we can make here. Uh, like, that like if we even a fan of knives would be helpful here. Like we have no hard board clear. Yeah. Like. We, do we kill Murloc Knight or do we kill the 7-3? We don't deal with Murloc Knight. Bad things are going to happen to us. Very bad things. Um, it's just pretty much downhill from there. So how much damage does he have? 7, 8, 10, 11. Um, so if he has a weapon, we're kind of screwed. Antique. Antique. I mean, you're not going to get... You're going to get 8 mana or 8 life from Antique either way. Well, it's more so what he attacks. We play the chill when he just swings into the chill win. If we play Antique, he can actually swing these two into it, and this stays alive. So, so if we would have played the Yeti, it would have been a little bit better, but again, it's not that big of a deal. Again, Fan of Knives would be, like, really good in this situation. So would I, uh, we also didn't really get a, uh, what is it called, a deadly weapon. Um, the, no, Blade Fury. That's what we were looking yeah, for. Yeah, that would have been real nice, especially yeah. with Assassin. Yeah, like right now, Blade Fury would clear his board, and we would literally win. We'd blade fury into the, the we'd blade fury into free volcanic and a chill win and we'd win the game. Yeah, oh god, he's gonna come out even stronger there. What are but you gonna do? So how much damage does he have? One, he's three, four, five, six, seven. We go. We're at one HP. <laughs> so if he has consecrate any form of weapon or any form of damage, we lose. Hammer justice. Or what is the hammer of might? <laughs> nope, there it is. Okay. Well, important. Like, having the Blade Fury is really important. And if we would have got the uh, Ass uh, Asinite, that'd been fine too. Because just. The what? Asinite? Yeah, Ass Asinite. Oh, Ass Ass at night, I like. Yeah. So, I mean, the deck is good. We got two Assassinates. So, it's not kind of like. We have forms of removal. We just didn't draw into it. Yeah. And we also had decent early game, but it's the Pit Snake also takes care of it as well. Um, it looks like we just drew bad and he drew really nicely there because this deck does have waves ways We, we haven't even drawn into a tomb pillager Because mm -hmm. um, this deck does have ways to get a ooh, tomb pillager into the um uh, The auctioneer because you get the free coins mm -hmm. There we go guys the combos with this deck are unleashed. Real. Anyway guys, this is gonna be end Wait, open our pack. We have to open our pack. Yeah. You said you were gonna see all right. What do you what do you think? I'm thinking right there top. No, right, no, no, no so just in general. Can't be too specific. Okay. What are you feeling? We've taken a while. One epic. One epic. One epic. Okay, epric. we got an epic on the scene. One epic. A golden rare. Regular rare. Two copies. Jesus Christ, Tony. It's uh, gonna be a good pack. All right, bottom left rare. All right. All right. Minimum. Defender's good. Defender's good. I Ice barrier goes there. in freeze mage. Not too bad. Deadly shot's not hit terrible for a hunter, but. Yeah. It could have been a better pack. There's always room for better packs. I'm actually getting depressed because this makes me realize how hard it is on a free-to-play account. But it's still really nice to get your own cards. Yeah. That five dust, though. <laughs> that, that 30 dust. We use so much dust to crap, crap, <laughs> to crap this mech mage deck, Tony. Dude, and it's not and even going to be even gonna, It's not even going to be able to be used in a standard. standard. Oh, that's so like, <laughs> like I, cra I crafted Pilotids. I crafted Blast Mage. I crafted fucking Snow Chuggers. I crafted a Noyotrons. That's like we craft we we crafted well over 700 dust worth of stuff for a deck that's not going to be utilized. But at least we can at least we can go into this month with maybe some decent stuff. We have no quest to do today. We've done well, and um, yeah. So with in your chest at the beginning of the episode, I went over that. But we got a um. Uh, I know I forgot already though. We got a golden keeper of the grove for a druid, which is nice. And then we got zeal of something, and we got some dust, and then we got a pack. And the card back. Oh, and a card back, not a pack. Um, anyway, guys, thanks for stopping by the end. I'm Rob. I'm Tony. And happy whatever the hell day it is.